the easy duffer bag. Quilty goodness meets bag making. And the best bit, there are no raw edges or binding on the inside. Now make sure to grab your copy of the pattern on my website. And this is what you'll need. Soft and stable to give your bag some great structure. Fabric for the outside of your duffel bag. And then you will need fabric for the handles, pocket and shoulder strap. And of course you will need some lining. You will need a long zipper like this. And hardware for your bag. That's two D-rings, one slider and two swivel hooks. And next to the normal one, I'm also using some thicker thread. That's for all my quilting and top stitching. And finally, glue spray. Now let's get started. Now place your soft and stable in front of you and on top place a layer of your outside fabric. Make sure it neatly sits on top of it. Lift up the first side and add your glue spray. Now gently push it all down. Now do the same for the other side. It's not shown here, but use your ruler and hair marker to mark your first line. And twist that line. Now use your quilt bar to trace the previous lines. Repeat this until your panel looks like this. Now take your quilted panel and cut it to size. Cut out your corners just like this. And then sew once around the edges of your panel, making sure your seams won't come undone. And of course repeat all this for your second panel. Now get your lining and cut it to size. And again cut out your corners. Now put these aside for a while. We are now making your handles. Place your first piece in front of you, right side facing up. On top place your second one, right side facing down. Now sew it in place using a quarter inch seam allowance. And then add the next one just in the same way and then sew them together. Do this until you've got four long strips for your handles. Take two of your handles and place them right sides together. Now sew them together using a quarter inch seam allowance on each side. No need to pin anything, you can just adjust it as you go. Now repeat this for your second handle. Use a safety pin to turn your handles right side out. Now make sure to push out the edges on both sides. And then top stitch along the edges using an eighth of an inch seam allowance.
And now we're making your pockets. Place your pocket fabric in front of you, right side facing up. And on top place your pocket lining, right side facing down. And then clip it all in place. And of course repeat this for your second pocket. Now sew it in place using a quarter inch seam allowance. Now press your seam and then carefully fold a piece of lining around the seam allowance to create the full piping effect. And then press again. Repeat this for your second pocket. Now top stitch along the edge using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Now carefully trim the edge of your lining at the bottom. Now sew on the open edges of your pocket to keep everything in place. And repeat this on the other side. Now take your pocket, fold it in half and mark your center. Now fold your panel in half and again mark your center. Now take a long ruler and line it up just like this. Now use a pen and centrally mark your fabric. And now mark the center of your line. Take your pocket and fold it over. Now line up the central marks just like this. Repeat all of this for your second panel and pocket. Now sew along the bottom edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. And repeat this on the other panel. Flip over your pocket and sew along the bottom edge using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Now sew along the side edges of your pocket, again using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Your pocket should now be attached on all three sides. Now take one of your handles and line it up just like this. And clip it in place.
Now make a mark half an inch above your pocket on both sides of your handle. And again repeat this for the other side. Now sew your handle in place using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Stop at your marked line, sew across and then go down on the other side. Repeat this on the other side of your handle. Now do the same with your second panel. We are now making the loops for your D-Wings. Measure your hardware and then cut your fabric half an inch wider than that. Place your fabric strips right sides together and then sew them in place on each side using a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn it right side out and then top stitch along the edge using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Trim your loops and thread them through your D-wings and then clip them in place. Now sew along the edge using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Your D wing should now look like this. We are now assembling your duffel bag. Place a piece of lining in front of you, right side facing up. On top place your zipper, zipper teeth facing up. And on top of that, place your quilted panel right side facing down. Make sure your pocket is at the bottom right now. And then clip it all in place. Now sew along the edge using a quarter of an inch seam allowance or your zipper fit. Your zipper fabric sandwich should now look like this. Now place your second piece of lining in front of you, right side facing up. On top place your zipper, zipper teeth facing up. And then place your second panel on top of it, right side facing down. Again make sure your pocket is at the bottom. And then clip it all in place. Again, sew along the edge using a quarter inch seam allowance or your zipper foot. Open up your fabric zipper sandwich and give it a good press.
make sure not to melt your zipper by accident. Now top stitch along the edges using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And repeat on the other side. Open up your zipper and trim the edges just like this. Now centrally line up the raw edges of your loops with the edges of your zipper. And stitch it in place. Make sure to open your zipper about two thirds and then fold your fabric zipper sandwich just like this, lining against lining and quilted panel against quilted panel. Now clip all the outer straight edges in place, making sure they all neatly line up. only leaving an opening at the bottom of your lining. Now sew along the outer edges using a quarter inch seam allowance. And now we're boxing out your corners. We are starting at the four corners on the outside and then we're doing a double pinch on each side of your zipper. Now pull open your corner and pinch the two edges flat against each other, matching the side and bottom seam. And clip it all in place. Repeat this for the other three corners. Now we're doing the double pinch. Pull open your lining edge and pinch the seam flat against the middle of your zipper, just like this. And then pull open the quilted edge and pinch the seam flat against the middle of your zipper as well. And then clip it all in place. And now repeat this on the other side of your zipper. Now sew along all your corners using a quarter inch seam allowance.
Now turn your bag right side out through the opening in your lining, just like this. And finally, close the open seam by hand using a ladder stitch. You can find a tutorial for this right here. Just follow the link. And finally, have a look right here for how I make my shoulder strap. And there you have it. That's your easy duffel all done. And of course, make sure to grab your copy of the pattern in my shop. And finally, if you like to make a scrappy patchwork version just like this, then watch the next video.